Hello, welcome back to our Morrowind playthrough. Today we're going to be taking on the final boss of this main quest, Dagoth Ur. Last video we uh, collected Keening and Sunder, both of Kagernak's remaining tools. Combined with Race Guard, we now have everything we need to take on this final boss of the game. Now, we, our instructions aren't really to fight him, it's more to destroy the Akulakon, aka Numidium 2, so he can't use it to take over the world. And once we use the tools on the Heart of Lorcan, it'll basically take care of all the six house for us. So that's the goal of today's video probably be our last video in the series. I'm sure there's some loose ends we could wrap up, like travel around talking to some of the characters that have assigned quests to us in the main storyline and see what they have to say, like Vivek and uh, Mayra Milo and Nabani Mesa, and just see what they have to say about us defeating Dagother in the sixth house, but... That just seems like it would make for a boring video, so we'll probably move on to the next game. Once we complete, try and knock out all three Elder Scrolls games, just to kind of lead our way up to the release of Starfield. A little bit more upgraded hardware on the way in a few weeks. Uh, we should be able to handle that game, no problem. I mean, right now we're kind of running games on the computer equivalent of a potato, so... I'm actually kind of impressed each time this game or this computer can manage to run a PC game or capture something from one of my systems, one of my consoles. Yeah, I'm uh, always a little concerned editing videos that it's going to corrupt them or delete them or something. So I finally gave in and bought a new PC. Just waiting for it to get shipped here in a couple weeks. But enough about that. Let's uh, focus on the task at hand here. So we need to continue flying, I think, to get there. I'm sure there is a path that leads there that doesn't involve levitation. But it probably has a, like a winding road around Red Mountain that will waste a lot of our time. So we're just going to fly our way over there. Try and figure out our way inside. I believe the place we're looking for is actually like directly in the center of like the crater of the volcano. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. We just have to not fall into the volcano on our way. If our levitation spell runs out at the wrong time, we could be in for some trouble here. Alright, we have another hunger vampire character to fight. There's gonna be all sorts of stuff up here, I imagine. Yep. We have a Dataroth. We're going to need to fly some more, but we're out of magic, so I might see if we can rest here, if it'll let us. It's okay, at least it gave us some magic back before it uh, interrupted us there, and we can now levitate again. Got to figure out where the entrance is and how we're going to get in here. So it seems like it kind of goes all the way around the crater of the volcano. Alright, that looks like the door, but it's blocked. So we got to find a switch for that.
don't think I can jump back. We're going to have to use levitate to get off this platform. There we go. Where is this switch to open this door? It can't be far from the door. We wouldn't have time to make it. Ah, here we go. On a random pipe. Ah, uh, we're too slow. It's because we're still levitating. We need to get back on solid ground so we can run. Our flying is a wee bit slower than our running. Alright, we're inside. We better save. We just walked into the final dungeon of the game. Come, Nerevar, friend or traitor, come. Come and look upon the heart and a Kulakan. And bring Wraith Guard. I have needed it. It's kind of cool that he taunts us all the way down there. Come to the heart chamber. I wait for you there where we last met countless ages ago. Yeah, different from any other dungeon in the game, that's for sure. Let you know we're definitely at coming to the end of the main storyline here. Some of this stuff's worth a bit of money, but it's also heavy. that we're like almost one-shotting those guys now. They were giving us such a hard time at Koga Run. We really have no reason to be looting at this point aside from like a role-playing perspective. Pretty much looting out of habit, because that's what our character would be Come doing. Come to me through fire and war. I will. Ah, something got cast on us. It's not doing much damage. I just don't know if it'll wear off. I have to, like, use Dispel or something to get rid of it. It's more annoying than anything, because the whole screen is red. That's better. So many, uh, six house amulets in our inventory now. That's just the way back up. We're just making sure we're not missing anything. In case there's anything cool hidden in here. Welcome, Moon and Star. I have prepared a place for you. He's getting pretty full. It's cool you can collect like Dwemer parts. I always thought you could like maybe build your own Dwemer robot. It's because you find schematics and pieces. It'd be kind of cool if you could, but I don't think you can do that in this game. Maybe in a future release, like you can use the schematics and pieces to craft your own like Centurion and 
travel with them instead of a companion. It would be kind of cool. Come, bring Wraithguard to the Heart Chamber. Together, let us free the cursed false gods. Yeah, I think you can like summon a uh, Dwemer like companion in Skyrim, but you can't really build them, which would be much cooler. Like if you could customize them. Fallout 4 had a DLC like that where you can make your own robot. You just can't do anything like that in this game. Welcome, Nerevar. Together we shall speak for the law and the land and shall drive the mongrel dogs of the Empire from Morrowind. Random bone lord. That's kind of out of place. Maybe they just threw that in there because they thought it was a Is scary this enemy. You are the sixth house of the tribe unwarned? Come to me openly and not by stealth. We're definitely not using any stealth. We're kind of like slashing away directly through the center of this place. funny names of some of these artifacts. I mean, if we were, like, gonna complete some of the, um, faction quests, like, maybe I'd come back here for some of this stuff, but unless, like, these videos really gain traction at some point, I don't see us doing that. And maybe if enough people start watching these at some point, I might do some faction quests or some DLC, but... If not, we're just going to move on with the next game. Looks like we made it to the final area. We better save, I guess. Welcome, Moon and Star, to this place where destiny is made. It began here, it will end here. Have any parting words, or would you prefer to skip the speeches and get to our business. You are the challenger uh, here after all and the courtesy goes with the first blow. Uh, now that you have come here there can be but one result. Many times I've considered offering to share this place with you. I considered offering to accept your oath of service. You might try to buy my trust by giving me Wraithguard, Keening, and Sunder. I thought we might once again be friends, comrades, brothers in arms. But I've won this place in power by right of conquest, by right of daring and enterprise. I will not risk it to cunning and deceit. I offer you no deals. If you are my enemy, I cannot trust you. And even if you are not my enemy, I cannot let you live. Alright, no deal then. It will be all decided here. I believe that I will prevail, but I cannot be sure, and I am not vain enough that should I fall, I would wish to be remembered in my own words. So if you have any final questions you would ask, ask them now. I have final questions I would ask if you would answer. All right, a little bit of lore before we fight, I guess.
My first question is, are you really Nirovar Reborn? Sure. We'll go with that. That is bitter. The gods and fates are cruel. I served you faithfully once, Lord Nirovar, and you repaid me with death. I hope this time it will be you who pays for your faithlessness. My second question is, if you win, what do you plan to do with the power from the heart? Will you make yourself a god and establish a thearchy, or will you complete the Akula Khan and dispute control of Tamriel with the Septums? Or will you share the heart with your followers as I have and breed a new race of divine immortals? It's not really a good option there. I guess we have our own secret plan for the heart. Well, perhaps there may be surprises in store for me yet, or perhaps you obscure your plans on principle, or perhaps you are bluffing. My final question is if I had offered to let you join me, would you have surrendered Wraithguard's Sunder and Keening to me to seal your oaths? No. Thank you for your forthright response, and now, if you have any questions, ask them, otherwise, we go. Okay. Uh, I will continue to draw divine power from the heart, distribute it to my kin and followers. I will continue to broadcast divine power upon the blight winds, so that it will touch each soul in Vardenfell and then more broadly across the waters to the rest of Morrowind and Tamriel in time. Every mortal in Tamriel shall feel the liberating contact with the divine. The Sixth House will serve as the elite uh, of our movement. As cultists evolve through various stages of enlightenment, they will become as suits their abilities, either holy warriors, priests, their duty is to prepare themselves for service, their joy liberation is to enter the ever more deeply into the profound enlightenment of the divine dream world. What's the plan for the Dunmer? I will free the Dunmer from imperial yoke and cast down the false gods of the temple. I will lead them out of their ancient superstitions and gift them with intimate knowledge of the divine then perhaps Morrowind is once again restored to its ancient glories uh, if by my crimes you mean the inevitable suffering and destruction caused by war then I accept the burden of leadership the sixth house cannot be restored without war uh, enlightenments cannot grow without the risk of upsetting the tradition bound and compl complacent herd uh, cannot be expelled from Morrowind, blah, blah, blah. What happened to the Dwemer? I have no idea. I have been denied the opportunity to study Wraithguard, and I'm not sure how much of Kagernak's lore was invested in his tools, and how much of his own sorcery and mastery. I have long studied Kagernak and have come to admire his wisdom and craft, Someday after campaigns of the Six House are secure, I hope to have time to dedicate to the mystery. A Kulakon will serve three purposes. First, it will be the champion of the army, liberating Vardenfell and Morrowind, then and perhaps the rest of Tamriel. It will serve second as a sower and cultivator of the divine substance derived from the heart. Three, it will serve as a prominent banner symbol for our cause to defy the Empire, to liberate the mortals from ancient superstitions, and to glorify our crusade against the gods. Alright, I guess that's it. Let's fight. Very well, if you are impatient to begin, go ahead. You are the challenger. To you goes the first blow. Okay... Uh, let's see what we can do to uh, better our chances before this starts. We fortify our health or anything like that. 
Definitely going to want to refill our magic. Fortify health. we get in there? Can I avoid him and get into the heart chamber? Seems to be blocked. There's got to be a switch or something. I don't know what he's doing. Like how do I open that? Do I have to take him out to get in there? Either there's a switch or we have to kill him, one or the other. Oh, he just wiped out our strength, endurance, and luck. And our health. Try and fix some of that. Okay, we're gonna have to drop something. Now our willpower is going down too. We need to deal with him, it seems like. Like, I'm sure we can, uh... There we go. I'm sure we can uh, fix our strength and some of the attributes, but it might be honestly easier just to drop something and enter the heart chamber. Before he comes back to zap our attributes even more. Trying to see if we have any restore strength, but I don't think so. I think we might have used up our restore strength at that Daedric Shrine when we were clearing it out to become the Nereverine. I don't think we ever purchased more of them. Okay, let's just drop something. I think we have some useless stuff anyway. Oh, we didn't actually drop it. There we go. Okay, is there a switch? Oh wait, is that open? Did taking him out open that? Cool. Take that. Oh, he's back. What a fool you are. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. How could you be so naive? There is no escape. No recall or intervention can work in this place. Come, lay down your weapons. It is not too late for my mercy.
Yeah, just try and restore health so we don't get too killed here. Oh, he got our he got our strength again. It's even lower now. Okay, we need to be moving. We need to be not stuck here with him attacking us, or it's only going to get worse. What can we drop that's heavy? We need to shed like another 10 pounds at least. Maybe we'll just get rid of all the uh, alchemy stuff. No, it's not going to let us use that. But it's heavy, so we'll start with it. It's not real valuable, let's just drop it and get new stuff later. Okay, heal, 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 heal. Alright, where are we going? There's the Akula Khan, so we need to get down here to the heart. Before he runs all the way down here to attack us. So we need Thunder first. Did we hit it? Did that count? I'm going to say that counted. Try keening now. Oh, we did it. That's gonna end end this quest as soon as we get out of here. Gonna try levitating just in case this thing starts to collapse on us. Alright, so there's the giant god he was creating that's now collapsing on its own. Just crumbles. Alright, so that's gone. I think he's disappeared. Alright, we gotta make our way back up. definitely save after that before something happens after all that craziness don't want the game to crash on us but we've completed the main quest of Morrowind which is amazing I believe we just have some sort of final cutscene and that'll be it it's just like an empty platform where the new medium used to be. Okay, where's the entrance to this place? We, you're normally supposed to run down this fighting Dagother the whole time, but because we just kind of flew off the side, uh, we skipped a little bit of that. Uh, crank? Yeah. 
Hey, it's Azura. You no longer bear the burden of prophecy. You have achieved your destiny. You are free. All right. The doom dreamer's folly. Lord Dagoth's temptation. The tribunal's seduction. The god's heart freed. The prophecy fulfilled. All fate sealed and sins redeemed. If you have pity, mourn the loss. But let the weeping cease. The blight is gone, and the sun's golden honey gilds the land. Hail, Savior, Hortator, and Nerevarine. Your people look to you for protection. Monster and villains, great and small, still threaten the people of Wadenfell. Enemies and evils abound, yet indomitable will might rid Morrowind to all its ills. For you, our Saxon blessing. Our gift and token given. Come, take this thing from the hand of God. Alright, so that's going to do it for the main quest of Morrowind. Uh, there's just an artifact to pick up that's kind of floating in the air. Ring of Azura. A constant effect, but it's not that great. But anyway, that's going to do it for our main quest playthrough. So hopefully everyone has enjoyed this video, the series actually, not just this video, but I hope some people will come back and see our next playthrough series. We'll be doing Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion next. All right, where's that artifact? Just checking what I unequipped when I equipped that, but I don't think it matters. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, thanks for watching.